Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. This is Swan Song and my name is Saik and we're trying to beat the game on the literal highest difficulty that is possible with everything cranked up to the maximum and it is time to go for some three and a half stars uh, schools, uh, kind of four school missions. As mentioned the last time we finished uh, the flashpoint down here, I formed a little bit reputation and just want to show you where we are and what we have done. We're now a relatively well st uh, respected uh, with the local pirates, so we're honored. Essentially, could theoretically ally with the faction once we're up here. The Lyran Commonwealth also likes us a lot. We're friendly with the Capellian Confederation, so as long as we kind of keep those at bay, that is fine. Same deal for the Free Worlds League. With a few more missions, we could actually get those guys up as well. In terms of the overall star map, before we jump into the missions here, we do have a few flashpoints, uh, one up here that actually could go reasonably well, but it is only two and a half stars, um, skulls rather. This one here works against the pirates, so that's a no-no. This one works against the pirates, another no-no. This one works against the pirates, so three no-nos in a row. And that's pretty much it. So we've chosen this system here because it has the right factions in it and because it has three and a half skulls. In terms of contracts, we can do a lot for the local um, government, all of which are essentially reducing our standing with the other factions. So we're not going to touch a single one of those, but I managed to kind of secure two contracts, one with uh, the pirates here against the local government that's a three and a half uh, school mission and one four and a half school mission so we're uh, slowly but surely like getting up there could even theoretically get 20 reputation out of uh, that that's not too bad 12 is good as well so let's start with the before we capture a base let's start with the easier one uh, to give it a go and work for the pirates we're almost up there uh, uh, honored uh, to uh, 100 would be the highest reputation that we could get. Uh, let's grab the most salvage. Three and a half schools means we can theoretically walk into assault max. And finally, the annihilator is ready and the bull shark is ready. We, or oh, I modified it quite uh, a tiny bit. Uh, you remember if you've watched the other uh, seasons that we had 350 damage. I went in and replaced an AC-20 for a UAC-10. So we're having even a better heat efficiency and 400 uh, points of uh, damage. Plus we do have a TTS plus for ballistics. So the Annihilator will hit quite well. The Bull Shark still is, uh, due to the loss tech, the highest hitter with 450 points of damage. So these two alone will like completely change the game, which is why I'm careful uh, to not go into lower missions. We're still having the Orion here with the comm system plus plus plus, which is fantastic. A couple of heat banks and still a good, good firepower of almost 270 plus our LRM boat, the Thunderbolt. So that's going to be the loadout. You can see the um, pilots are slowly but surely kind of getting to that seven, eight-ish uh, rank of skills. Everybody has four and fives across the board, which is good. So things are really progressing and I now want to get to those four, four and a half slow five uh, score missions, which is really the target. I think the it would be a reasonable target overall for this campaign to maybe acquire four um, assault mechs and do a couple of five uh, school missions, maybe go into kind of a sector specifically with five school missions and just play a bit of end game. And once we've done that, uh, we could claim this one here to be more or less uh, finished. Uh, it will generic, theoretically generically go on afterwards, but that would be the natural ending uh, spot of the challenge here, essentially having played through the game then. So let's, uh, without further ado, go into the mission. 
And here we go. Let's drop our now new squad. I am so excited to finally have both of uh, the assault mechs with us. We're starting in a biome that is not optimal for us. Pretty hot here, but we got water. And all we need to do is recover a VIP from there. All right, so that should be good to go. Coordinates received. Moving up. This little forest here might be helpful. Okay, we're already seeing signs of enemies. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let them come in first. A couple of heavy enemies. What are your orders, Skipper? But I think it's fair that we already kind of take the spot here with the Orion. So a nice Highlander. That's a fantastic heavy mech. Victor, that's an assault mech and an unknown mech over there. Okay. Highlander, 40% damage reduction. Victor, 40% damage reduction. Hmm. Okay. So how about... How about... We're starting with this guy here. And try to get him down to initiative one. Got a nice little hit there. Ready for order. Good. That would be 80% good enough. Standing in water also means that we're not overheating as fast. And he took some stability damage. I was hoping we'd uh, get a bit further towards them. All right. Bullshark stands in the open. That's not optimal, but we at least can hit everything. So let's see. Just you noticed uh, we chucked up um, about 200. Uh, 250 armor on various on various fronts. Let's just see how well our how well our new uh, thumper is doing. First and foremost, the victor begins to yes, begins to no longer stand straight. Secondly. Yeah. Good. Moving over here. Not fantastic. We we only get like two shots with the UAC 10. But just look at it overall. We did 250 points of damage with uh, two full attacks from heavy mechs. And then 200 damage more just from the thumper. It's a noticeable uptick in damage. And we even opened one side of the torso. Double hit on that arm means the victor is now without an arm and highly unstable. The Orion tanks for us, 40% damage reduction, good enough for now. Skipper. All right, Orion moves forward. And we're continuing to really go for that victor. I think we're going to take Vigilance so that we have 60% damage reduction because we're going to take a couple of shots. Victor's AC20 is already down. So that is fantastic. Okay, if we were to move up, that'll be 90% hits. That's good. And I suppose the victor would also go down. High chance that we're going to explode the other part of his torso. Yep, that worked just like a charm. AC-20 ammunition also exploded and he gets a knockdown on top. Is that already completely knocked out? No, I think he has one hit point left. I 
thanks to the 60% damage reduction, shit here, Commander. the Orion holds up nicely. Ready for orders. Are you kidding me? How? Now oh, we do have a range problem with the Annihilator. That's really, really unfortunate. Orders. Bullshark can move up, and I think we're just going to finish the victor. Straight up shot onto the torso. And there you go. Call to make it down. Got something you want done? Yeah, we could theoretically move up and take a few shots. No problem. That is more efficient than just charging in. Although our yeah, the refire uh, piece makes it unreliable. So the way that a lot of the um, the way that a lot of uh, the ballistic weapons work is, once you have fired them, the refiring will make it uh, very inaccurate due to the high amount of recoil. Uh, recoil. So without that, we would actually have had a relatively solid hit chance. Let's brace so that we don't need to do a uh, deal with the recoil now. Can move a tiny bit back. Let's get some vigilance going. And that's well, just for the sake of doing it. Start opening. Uh, the Highlander. I'm low-key hoping that the Highlander... Oh, crap. Oh. oh, wow. That hit me. That was a solid hit into the head. Ouch. Right here. All right. So the Black Knight has, in my perspective, done a huge mistake, or committed a huge mistake by just okay, standing out in the open. We're, of course, going to punish that. See, there is all of the stability damage. Okay, we should withdraw the Orion, just so that we're not uh, running the risk of getting another head hit. Right, and one of the arms is opened now as well. Not the end of the world, really, but still, gotta be careful. Fantastic, finally. All right, Annihilator moves up. Let's take a look just how well he does. And we're taking a torso, and let's just fully unload. That was with 40% damage reduction, and the Highlander has around 1,400 armor, which is incredible for uh, for a mech of his size. So I could show you the Thumper Cannon, which actually wouldn't be the worst idea. It's a two for one, or alternatively, we could hit the Highlander. Hmm. Good question. I think we're going for the Thumper Cannon. It would deal overall potentially the same amount of damage. So you see it has a massive, massive radius. And if enemies cluster up, what you can do is you can start hitting all of uh, them. The Rifleman has shut down, so we can get bonus shots onto it. Just take a look at the damage. Holy shit. 
The Rifleman has not received a single hit beforehand. Okay. So all of that damage, like the entirety of that damage just came from that hit. All right, we're moving back. Ryan cools down. Yeah, what can I do you for? Thunderbolt moves over. Vigilance because he's standing in the open. I want to uh, see if we can hit, hit this guy and knock him down. be a knockdown unsteady highly unsteady but not a knockdown okay fair enough standing by Moving up with the Annihilator, and let's hit this Highlander. We're too short in range in order to do anything else. But that, I think, was a head hit. Minimum damage. This guy's nothing. Yeah, we're staying nicely within the 40% damage reduction, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right. It just so happens that the Highlander here is the only one that we can actually really hit. Fantastic. There's the knockdown that we were looking for. Explosion is also... Injured the pilot quite a bit. And we'll just move back in order to like get a protection from these guys. Fantastic. Another ammunition exploded. The Highlander pilot has problems. And this moving forward here finally exposed uh, the Black Knight. Hey, watch the paint, pal. Yeah, let let the rifleman act first. And now it should be our turn. Confirmed. Annihilator moves up, vigilance, and let's make sure that we're not overheating. The Highlander has absolutely nothing that he can do at this point. Okay, good. So, what are we going to do with the Black Knight? I think hitting it with the LBX-10, not a bad idea. It has stability damage already. Keeping it um, destabilized is a perfect idea. Ignoring uh, the Highlander at this point. And instead we're moving up, even though we do not have Vigilance, I think we're still going to be fine. Careful with our heat. And there we go, that is what I was looking for, he should be knocked down now.
All right, he's still trying to aim uh, for the Orion. And oh my gosh, he he literally just shut himself down yet again. All right, let's give the Orion here vigilance. Pretty confident that we can kill the guy on the ground. Reporting critical hit. Waiting. Island is almost down. Good to go. Let's use Mox in order to finish the Black Knight. There we go, that was just damage overload. Tangled down. Receiving you. Good, we could. And with our heat potentially should. Um, just attack. Moving to position. That's 125 damage just from the melee attack. Assault mechs are just merciless. He he attacked him and then Two small lasers, plus we saved a lot of heat. Good. Let's just try to hit this rifleman and let it fall over. Well, never mind. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Confirmed. All right, we're going to use precision strike to make sure that this guy does not take another turn. And that's a lance, which was just as strong as ours. Uh, two assault, two heavy. Move order okay, it seems we're having to escort afterwards. Moving to position. We have the asset, Commander. No, we're no. It was literally just getting the as uh, asset. So, a couple of thoughts there. Number one, with the current loadout, uh, the Annihilator needs to definitely charge up in order to get closer. Uh, too late in the actual fight did, uh, did they uh, join. Number two, really lamentable hit here for Tygen to almost take him out. But yeah, thank uh, thankfully that didn't happen. Highlander. Absolutely fantastic mech. I like it. One of the best assaults in the game. Not uh, the 733 though. This version here is not the, the better one of the Highlanders. Nonetheless, really, really decent mech. Yeah, we will get all of the loot anyways. So that worked in our favor. Again, none of the mechs are fully looted yet. But, but we're, uh, we're getting close. And with the access to uh, the black market, we can also get some nice uh, lost tech. So if we were to continue the campaign, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, I'll show you uh, just how to farm a few of those um, a few of those pirate harbors and go uh, from bla black market to black market to get really beneficial gear it very much accelerates what you can uh, do because all of a sudden you run with complete lost tech um, equipment so let's take a look mech warriors uh, three and a half skulls this potentially does not give you enough experience. We're still on that super slow experience track. Keep that in mind. Yes, Commander. Confirm. Yeah, Titan here has done a good job. And I think we're fine. We don't need to level him. Overall, good. 
in terms of store we don't need to buy anything mechs don't need to be repaired not yet we can do one more mission the next time because we only have absolute minor damage so yeah we pretty much crushed it uh, next time i would do the steal the prototype mission that's a good one another high salvage mission that we could take and unfortunately it reduces our standing with the free worlds league which was one of the sort of lower factions that that we could have gotten more reputation with but the capellian confederation by now is uh, we're, we're liked by them and we could get all the way up to honored so and liked allows us to do what four and a half school missions yep yeah. and you need to be honored in order to do the five school contracts so yeah we're good i think we're good for now guys uh, we're going to do this mission the next time thank you for watching if you enjoy the content i'll give you a friendly reminder it never hurts hitting the like button because that will take uh, tell youtube uh, that the content is appreciated and leave a comment down below thank you and have a good one bye bye